Okay, so we're gonna do a tour of my house now. We did kind of the compound earlier. Um, but I'll show you the inside of my house now and everything on the outside. So first, this is the bathroom. The little ones, the toilet, big ones, the shower. So it's relatively clean compared to some of the other toilets I've seen in country. Um, but it's just a simple building. There's no light in here, fortunately. But yeah. So that is the bathroom. Yeah, okay. Outside, this is my wall, or a wall. Okay, that's the faucet where I get water from. Alright, so this is this little hole down here. This guy right here is the drain. That's Pepper. I don't know why that's there. That's the drain for, or it's not the drain, but it's like the vent for the bathroom because it's basically a big porta potty. So this is where like the gas escapes so it can't build up and explode. So, but here's my tomato plant. There's some tomatoes on there. There's some basil growing in there. So that's my tomato plant. It's been growing for maybe, well, I don't know, two months maybe? Two and a half months? Um, here's another tomato plant that I'm trying to start. This is the tomato right here. All these other ones are rosemary. I'm trying to grow. All right. This is my sink. It's just a jerry can with a spout. And then there is the water where it collects. And then I just dump it down the little hole that I just showed you. So this is my chicken house. And there's my little chicken feeder down there. It's full of corn. They have a little water dish, that little green thing there. And inside we have a rooster and a big female. And this big female right here just has been laying eggs for the past week and for the past three days he has been fertilizing them. So we'll have a couple, some more little chickens in maybe I think it's 20 days it takes for them to hatch. But yeah, so is, there's spots for four chickens. She usually lays them in that little spot right there. But this is all just hay down here. Um, yeah, so it's my chicken house. They call they call this this little girl right here. Um, they call her a Ferengi chicken, which is a foreign chicken. It's actually a, I think the bigger ones, um, like these ones, they come up to this this little girl right here. She comes up to about my knee, um, and I think um, the bigger chickens, at least in Ethiopia, um, they call them foreign chickens because they don't come, or they call them Ferengi chickens because they come from India. They're the taller ones are a special kind of breed or a special breed from India. The the rooster right there is not a foreign chicken. He's just your normal everyday chicken that you'd see in Ethiopia. Nothing too special. The female is actually bigger than the male um, in this case. So, um, so that was my chicken house. Here's some more stuff that I'm growing. This is lettuce that has bolted and has started to seed, so it's not very good anymore to eat. Um, there's nothing in this one right now. Um, but hopefully soon there will be. Um, this one, there's nothing growing yet, but I planted some parsley and some basil, I think. Um, maybe about three or four days ago into there, so hopefully that starts growing. In there, there's a bunch of rosemary, um, if you can see it. Yeah, there's a bunch of rosemary in there, and I planted it, and some parsley growing. I think I, think, I, think I planted a little bit of basil, too. Um, it's hard to grow vegetables, like, in my compound, because it is all cement. So I can't have a garden garden, but I can have these little potted plants um, and grow small things. Um, here's some cilantro that I'm growing. And this, and this little guy right here, there's some more cilantro. It just hasn't matured. And this one I tried to grow cilantro, but it's dead, so I have to find something else. I did try and grow a couple things in these, these little pots, these little paint cans here, uh, but nothing grew. I tried to grow a... Uh, cucumber and some more rosemary, but it didn't take so we'll have to see what else I can grow. This is my compost in here Don't really use it all that much, but you can bring it over to Catherine's house What's chicken he's doing? I don't know what she's doing 
Alright, so over here is just kind of a bunch of crap that I have. Um, and here I have hay for my chicken house. In this blue container down here I have charcoal for cooking. Um, I have my grill grate back in the corner here. I don't know if you can see that. My grill grate, a bucket. And this, this big metal thing is the bottom to a 55 gallon drum and it is used as a wash bucket. Like for washing clothes, a wash basin. Um, yeah. There's my little wind chime I made out of bamboo. It's not very windy right now, but it does make noise. Here's some more wash buckets. I have three of them um, for washing clothes and dishes and things like that. And these two rooms right here are mine, so we'll go through them. Um, this is a little bug screen that I made. Um, that little pole down there is bamboo, and it's just it's just bug netting, basically all it is. So inside here is my house. There's my bike that I never use. Thank you taxpayers of America for that. Um, my guitar case, I got a guitar. Um, so this is my little desk slash table. Uh, the previous volunteer, Jarrett, gave it to me. Um, he spent a lot of money on it. So again, thank you taxpayers of America. This is my little bookshelf slash food um, shelf. It's my two water filters. I don't really need to filter the water in Atsby because it's pretty it's pretty clean by itself. I haven't gotten sick from it yet. Some of my stuff. This little stash up here is for when I have a really, really, really shitty bad day. There's Girl Scout cookies, there's Doritos, there's vanilla Coke and Dr. Pepper, pudding, Pop-Tarts, Oreos. That's for when I really have a really bad day, like I get m mugged at knife point. So. Thankfully that hasn't happened yet, but who never know, never know. And if I don't have a really, really bad day, me and Catherine, my site mate, are just gonna eat it right before I go, come home. So there's this bunch of stuff that's been sent to me from the States, some stuff that I've bought here. It's kind of a mess right now, but it's there. So that's that one shelf. This is my chicken food right here. I feed this to the, the female. It's composed of this stuff, which I had sent from the States, and some like multi meal kind of stuff, some sugar, some milk for protein, just so she can produce eggs and eggshells. This is my candy bin. Um, down here, I got a bunch of these little bottles, these water bottles here. I have all of my like dry goods, like beans and rice, and sugar and flour and stuff like that. Tupperware is expensive here, so I just use old plastic bottles. Um, Plates, grater, meat grinder, since we can't buy ground beef here, or at least we can, but it's really expensive, so we just buy meat at the butcher and grind it ourselves. This is kind of my junk shelf. Not a whole lot there, except for just junk, some books, some papers from Peace Corps, stuff that I really don't use all that much. Um, here's a little shelf. I usually keep my vegetables up here. It was market day today, so I got and got some carrots. Uh, I have some oregano in there, and some taco seasoning, and I don't know what is in there. Hot chocolate mix, gravy mix. There's some corn I bought today for the market for my chickens because they were out. Um, let's see here. There's my bike again. Here's my wall. This is like where I cook. So these are two just like just really crappy tables. Um, I'm cooking right now. I'm cooking some. Pinto beans in there, and I'm cooking some. I actually killed a chicken, one of my chickens this morning, so we're, Catherine and I are gonna make some Mexican, some chicken tacos later tonight. Um, so I'm cooking that. Um, spices, my towel, I keep my eggs in that basket. So all my kitchen utensils and spices, those are all my dirty dishes down there. And I have two stoves. One is electric. It's just a little hot plate. Um, I use that pretty often. And one is, it's kind of dark down there. But it's propane stove. So this big yellow, let's see, focus. Yeah. Come on, focus. 